Welcome to an episode of No Script News. And it looks like Sega is trying to rip us off, guys. Sega. You know Sega. They used to make consoles back in the day. My favorite being the Dreamcast. And then they got and fucked it up with the Sega Saturn. Well, now, you're back to that trip, man. They want you to buy a Game Gear Micro. A Sega Game Gear Micro. Now, any of you guys that lived back in the day when us old folks were born, you might know what the Game Gear is. It was a big old blocky handheld made from Sega that was supposed to compete with the Game Boy. Obviously, it couldn't compete and that's why it's gone. But now they're trying to bring it back. But not just one Game Gear, they're bringing back four Game Gears. Because four is better than one, right? No, obviously it's not. Because what they're doing is they're keeping four games on each of their consoles. So if you want to play all 16 games, you have to buy all four different color-coded Game Gears. Yes, there's only four games to each Game Gear, and they're selling four Game Gears to you. And for how much? For a cheap price, right? Because it's so small, and because only four games? No! This is Sega Corporation, they don't give a shit. They want you to buy each console for $50. $50, that's $200 for 16 games on a screen that is 1.5, not even, on a screen that's one inch big. This is how you're gonna play your games, guys. Imagine the text, imagine everything, but if you don't wanna play on a one inch screen, don't worry, Sega got you covered. They have this kind of big old screen adapter that's supposed to make the screen bigger, and it's all big old bulky. What is that? When you have to make a different attachment to make your screen bigger, then maybe the whole idea of having the Game Gear Micro isn't such a good idea now, is it? I'm not even talking about the buttons too. The buttons are so huge. They're as big as your thumb, and there's two of them, but you can't really press them because they're just so small. Now, I understand what Sega's thinking. They want to jump into the bandwagon and give you all those retro games because there's a lot of collectors out there. And sure enough, some collectors will buy these, but the average person's not gonna buy this. And if you do, then you're a dumbass because they're ripping you off, guys. <sighs> now, the games that are put on the Game Gear Mini are mostly Sonic games that we all already played. There's also Gunstar Heroes. There's one console that has mostly all Shining Force games on it. Um, pretty much games that <laughs> you don't really need to play anymore or that haven't been put on different collections. So I guess the whole novelty is that you're having a Game Gear Mini. Hey, 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 no, no, no. My dog just went and got my McDonald's, started eating my damn hash brown. You leave the hash brown alone. Hey, leave it alone. She just got it in her mouth and took it to the floor. Hey, come here. I guess she likes that McDonald's too. Poor little dog. Anyways, back to the subject. Don't buy this stuff, guys. This is a total ripoff. Let Sega know that if we, if they want to make a console, give us a damn Dreamcast Mini. Put all the Dreamcast games on that shit. I guarantee that will sell. It will fry off the damn shelf. My biggest regret was getting rid of my Dreamcast. I kid you not. But I was so disappointed in the damn Sega Saturn <sighs> that I just never looked back and now Sega coming out with this Game Gear Mini they're back to the old tricks so just a warning to you guys don't fall for the hype $50 for that little shit with only four games get out of here that's gonna do it for this episode of No Script News remember guys when shit is the fan run This little girl right here, she's a hash brown thief. Tell him you're a hash brown thief. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Hash brown thief.